students let us move on to another important chapter coordination chemistry the word coordination compound derived from the latin word complexus and coordinate which means hold and to arrange d block elements have the tendency to form complex compounds these complex compounds differ in their properties from simple ionic and covalent compounds why this d block elements have the tendency to form complex ion because these elements smaller in size highly charged vacant low energy orbitals to accept lone pair of electrons donated by the ligands or ions because of these three reason this trans element have the tendency to form complexes some of the non metals also can form complexes but the tendency to form complexes of non metal less than d block elements this trans elements that is complex compounds plays very important role in biological functions and also in chemical industries for example hemoglobin which is oxygen transporter of human containing the metal iron it is a complex compound chlorophyll which is present in leaf and which is act as a very good photosensitizer in photosynthesis process and here magnesium is present as a central metal at and this is also one of the complex cobalamin or otherwise it is called as the vitamin b12 which contain cobalt as a central metal atom and this too a complex compound apart from that zigar natla catalyst wilkinson catalyst these are all the important catalyst which is used in chemical industries in this chapter we are going to discuss about difference between coordination compound and double salt werner's theory important terminologies nomenclature of the coordination compounds isomerism vbt and cft theory metallic carbonyls applications of coordination compound first we will see the difference between double salt and coordination compound double salt these are all the molecules which are formed due to the combination of two or more simple salt in stoichiometric ratio that is two or more simple salt when combined together in euchimolar ratio we can get the double salt coordination compounds are formed from the combination of two or more simple molecules or ions which retain its identity in solid as well as in dissolved state so coordination compounds also formed two or more simple molecules or ions but these compound retain their identity in solid state as well as in dissolved state best example we can say potash alum for double salt molecular formula K two SO four, Al two SO three, twenty four H two O. When this potash alum dissolved in water, it gives the ions two K plus four SO four two minus and two Al three plus. Example for coordination compound K four Fe CN six. and this is dissolved it gives one complex ion fe fe cn6 that is a complex ion cn6 another difference is these double salt exist as a solids when they dissolved in water they form ions but coordination compound they are also exist as solids but they do not form ions when dissolved in water they form complex ion this double salt lose its identity 
and dissociate into their constituent simple ions in solution but coordination complexes does not lose its identity and never dissociate into simple ions this double salt have normal valency coordination compounds have higher valency and this metals have two kind of valency one is primary valency and secondary valency so these are all the difference between the coordination compounds and double salt thank you